Hi guys. So it's kind of weird posting this, making this video. I mean, <clears throat> um. So today I had church today, and um. It was just me and my husband. And, but anyways, I wanted to um, just say something. So, I got to church today and I felt good. I was okay. I mean, I'm not the best emotionally mentally but I try for the most part to put on um, a happy face because since as I'm no longer on my medication effects in certain aspects of my life that is okay you know, I'm able to get more stuff done and I'm not stuck inside of my bed and I'm not um, as sad as I used to be. But there are other aspects of my life that miss being on medication. And um, after I had the miscarriage in December, my body kind of like went haywire, like completely haywire. Like I gained 20, 27 pounds in under a month. And it's not like I am here feasting on like gorging myself. Like, no, it's not me. Most days I probably consume at least a meal one meal most days it's I only eat like dinner and that's about it but my hormones are like all over the place and completely out of whack so I went to church and Someone said to me, they were like, oh my gosh, your face. Because remember I was telling you guys that my face is um, <clears throat> is actually suffering from all this hormonal thing. Like my entire face is completely, you know, broken out. And, and it's not because I wear makeup. No, I've been wearing makeup forever. And my face has never been this bad where it's like back to back. Um breakouts and stuff it's never been that bad at first I thought it was the hair that was on my face that was breaking it up but it's not um because I've worn these before and I was never this bad so someone was like oh my gosh your face what about my face the makeup is doing your face bad. No. The makeup is not doing my face bad. You don't know me enough to say that. That's one. And then the other person was like, Oh my gosh, you're so fat. Seriously. I know I'm fat. I know I've gained weight. You don't have to tell me what I am. Like, what would make you think that I want to hear that information out of someone else's mouth? I don't want to hear from someone else that I'm fat unless you are my husband, in which case my husband does not, and I repeat, does not have that authority to say to me that I'm fat. Even though he is the way that he is, he is not insensitive in that way. Um, so the person was like, you're fat. I have struggled 
for years. Silently. With who I am and finding who I am and being that person or at least try to be that person. But then you'll have people come along and think that they know you and can attack you in that sense. And they can say things that will hurt you and prevent you from finding who you are and, and can prevent you from becoming that person. I say this because when you have gone through abuse, you hide behind walls or doors, whichever you may choose, and when you finally decide to bring the walls down or open those doors that have been shut for so long, the last thing you need is for more people to come and overstep their boundaries. If you've not known where I've been, you can't definitely know where I'm going. So sometimes I have to forgive other people because they, they don't know my story. They don't know how much I've suffered, how much pain I've been through, and they don't know my growth that I have accomplished in the last two and a half years. And I have accomplished a lot. I'm able to tear walls down. I'm able to tear walls down and lead a healthy life. Um, when you go from from hating yourself as much as I've hated myself to actually loving who you are and then there are people that try to prevent you from loving who you are it's very sad. It's very sad in my eyes it's not going to prevent me from continuing to love and who I am. Because I have a higher purpose in life. And if I continue to be stuck where I am, I can't fulfill my purpose. And I'm pretty sure the devil would really love that if I never, ever amount to what I ought to be. I have a story and my story can save others. My story can save others. It has the potential to save other women that are in my position that are going through the things that I've gone through. And if I'm able to not recover from what I've gone through, then I won't be able to help those women. I won't be able to help anyone whatsoever. I'll just be a very unfortunate person that went through all of this stuff and never ever recovered. What good is that to anyone? That's no good to anyone. That can't be good to anyone because I need to recover and I need to help other women that are in my situation or not even my situation because no one is in my situation my story is unique to who i am it's one of a kind there are other women that are experiencing similar things um the other day there was this um female on facebook and her story will never be told because she's not dead. And that touched me because I wouldn't even go into in depth of what it was, but the bare fact the mere fact that she is now dead and she was never able to escape her situation and was never able fully to recover it 
and to help others because she's now dead was able to help me so in a sense her situation is helping because it has kind of pushed me forward a bit you know I was probably like crawling at snail, a, a, a snail pace snail yeah. yeah snail pace and her her situation was able to push me forward so snail pace to now a turtle pace right no it's faster than a turtle pace but yeah, yeah. you understand what I'm saying so we have to be careful with our words. All of this I'm saying, listen, let me just tie all of this in. Excuse me. Let me tie all of this in because it seems like I'm everywhere and my mind is everywhere. So you have to excuse me. So let me bring everything together. As Christian, as human beings, as people with opinions and our own different way of thinking we have to be careful what it is that we say to others regardless of how they look what you think you know about that person how you think that person life is whatever you have to be careful you have to think to yourself what is that person going through that my words, my words that comes out of my mouth is going to do to that person? What is it going to do to that person? Because at the end of the day, words are very powerful. And when they leave your lips, you can't take them back. You can't take them back. So what is it that when I say something, how is it going to affect that person the person I'm saying it to how is it going to affect that person so we have to think like that in order to prevent other people from stumbling in their walk with Christ to prevent from someone killing themselves because you never know where a person is never know where they are so we have to be careful of that too and three we want to uplift others not bring them down not put them down beneath us or with up we need to lift them up so that they're able to carry on and finish you know the work whether it be the work of Christ the work that they're doing within themselves and just um, in general you know and so that's where I was going with all of this so hopefully you guys got where I was going with this and hopefully you guys learned something from this and I am not a motivational speaker, but sometimes when something happens, I think I'm able to give my two cents and I'm able to make sense of it, if that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.